I'm Nick, and in this video we'll be talking about cottage cheese-like vaginal discharge and what exactly that means. Well, as you may have guessed, if you have cottage cheese vaginal discharge, the primary culprit behind this is candida yeast. So it's pretty likely you do have a yeast infection. There are perhaps no other vaginal conditions that can produce a classic cottage cheese-like vaginal discharge. A study published in 2008 in the Journal of Community Nursing lists cottage cheese-like vaginal discharge as a primary sign of a vaginal yeast infection. And as far as the smell of this discharge goes, the study states that uh, it will not have any smell at all to it if it is a yeast infection alone. Some other symptoms of a yeast infection in the study listed were an itchy or sore vagina, vulvar swelling, painful sexual intercourse, and fissures on the skin, which are small cuts or tears of the skin. A 2004 study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association also says that a thick, white, curdy vaginal discharge, which of course looks a lot like cottage cheese, is a very strong indicator that you have a vaginal yeast infection. And this discharge will have no smell to it if it is candida alone that's causing the problem. The study also stated that vaginal itching uh, also increases the chance that your vaginal problem is due to candida. And if you have vaginal redness or inflammation, this also slightly indicates that you have a vaginal yeast infection as well. In perhaps very many, if not mostly all, of the scientific research papers published about candida infections of the vagina that talk about the symptoms, nearly all of them will say a thick, curdy, or cottage cheese-like discharge is an indicator that you do have a vaginal yeast infection. So why does a yeast infection of the vagina cause there to be a cottage cheese-like vaginal discharge? Well, candida is a white-looking yeast, and many species of candida also grow hyphae, or germ tubes. And these long tendrils probably attach to one another and get tangled up and cause curds to form. Now, when you have enough yeast, it can start to look like cottage cheese. Some of the yeast have turned into their hyphal form and clumped together and caused curds to form, and some have not. So the resulting vaginal discharge looks like white, curdy, thick material. And if you do have cottage cheese-like discharge, that probably means you have a lot of yeast in your vagina, and it's probably time to get it taken care of. Also, again, many of the studies state that this type of vaginal discharge will not have any smell to it. So if you notice the discharge has a strong fishy or high cheese smell, you likely also have a bacterial vaginosis infection as well. The two can happen concomitantly, so it's not totally unusual to have two different kinds of vaginal infection at the same time. Before you begin treating your yeast infection, what you should probably do is remove the high amount of yeast in the vagina that's giving you the cottage cheese-like discharge in the first place. A great way to do this is just to mechanically remove it with your hands and then use apple cider vinegar, which is also able to help treat a yeast infection, to thoroughly wash the vagina out. This will reduce the amount of yeast you're trying to fight and help you get cured from your yeast infection probably a lot quicker. And in conclusion, of course, this type of discharge is very indicative of a yeast infection, and there is perhaps no other microorganism that can create such a classic telltale symptom other than the yeast candida. For more information about this topic, you can check out the article on Candida Hub. The link is below in the description. And we also have a lot of information about all natural remedies for yeast infections at Candida Hub. And while you're at Candida Hub, you can also learn about a very fast, all natural cure for yeast infections that works in just 12 hours. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Hope you get better very soon. See ya.